Good morning, everybody. I'm here in uh, beautiful Eureka, Nevada. Nice, beautiful, sunshiny morning after a night of rain. And I... This thing right here. I noticed uh, some comments on Facebook yesterday, just random posts by people talking about how all the modern trucks have all the automatic braking and all the sensors and all the bells and whistles and all that kind of stuff and why anybody has a problem with that if they have a problem with that I don't know I guess they were tr trying to start a conversation and then I stumbled across videos of people on YouTube kind of somebody saying saying that uh, you know they just post videos about random stuff as driving down the road and commenters commenting that they're not a real truck driver because they're driving an automatic now I don't like all the new technologies but I don't think it makes you less of a truck driver because the point of driving a truck is getting the machine with the trailer, with the freight, whatever you're hauling, from one place to another place. That's a truck driver. Uh, what kind of truck you're driving, I don't think really makes that big of a difference. Uh, but my personal experience, I had worked for a guy for several years uh, and he started transitioning into buying Freightliner evolutions with everything on them, cameras, the, the whole nine yards. I didn't mind all that. Uh, it was a really decent truck. I mean, we had satellite TV and all that fancy stuff. It was great. And uh, we're gonna, everybody's gonna get a brand new truck and it had all that stuff on it. And so you're driving down the road and it's making all kinds of weird noises every time very distracting to me but what made me stop driving for him was the radar thing in the front of the truck with the automatic braking on it that uh, almost got me into a couple of really bad accidents for no reason at all there was no nobody in front of me nothing in front of me in fact and had I been on snow or ice, uh, and it did that, I probably wouldn't be here, and I probably would have taken some people with me. Uh, I was down in West Virginia, two-lane highway, there was a truck coming the other direction. There was nobody in front of me. And there was a vehicle, like, on the edge of the road, he started to move and then turned to go into a driveway and as he started to make his turn to go into the driveway the truck did a full brake lock the horn was going off the truck was just shuddering coming to a stop smoke everywhere scared the hell out of me and it was winter time and I was thinking man if the road had been snow or icy you know who knows what would have happened and then it happened again and at that point it was my time to just say you know what I can't do this uh, the truck is just very fatiguing to drive all day long and having all these buzzers and things going off so I went and drove for somebody else for a while then I moved and uh, I moved to Nebraska Them for a couple of companies that didn't didn't have they had they might have had the camera in the truck but they didn't have the rest of the stuff and now I'm driving a 2020 389 it has none of that stuff on it I drive the truck I ship the truck uh, I love this truck I had another one in the past the older one and uh, you know it's just uh, it's a lot less tiring when I get done at the end of the day I'm not I'm not wore out because I'm not hearing all this stuff going off. But 
Does having all that on your truck make you less of a truck driver? I don't think so. If you need all that stuff on there to tell you how to do your job or to assist you, maybe, I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be driving, maybe, I don't know. If you need it. If you don't need it and it's there to assist you, great. Awesome. Maybe, it, maybe it'll help make you a better driver. I don't know. But, I don't know. That's just my personal take on it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't like it. I've driven with it. I've driven just about every kind of truck there is with every kind of transmission you can think of. The three pedal auto shift I had to, unfortunately, I had to take on a trip one time when my truck was in the shop. And it was the loaner they gave me. But, and I've had the Eatons, I've had the iShift, I've had all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm familiar with all of it. What I'm driving now is what I prefer, what I like, 18-speed. Uh, uh, the truck just rides down the road very nice all day long, and uh, it doesn't tell me what to do, and it doesn't try and correct me when I do it wrong. So that's just my take on it. Uh, that's pretty much all I had to say about that, so y'all have a nice day.